So welcome back to our journey of how to type mathematics uh, efficiently and just sort of with your keyboard, uh, with shortcuts um, in Microsoft Word with the equations. Right, okay. And today we're going to see how to, uh, a short tutorial on how to do numbering uh, equations with the chapter number, okay? So uh, this, uh, of course, is not just typed into it. Um, if I hover over it, you see um, it's just, it's not like it, uh, if I type two uh, like this, it's actually a field code. You see it's grayed out, right? So what that means is if I, let's say I copy this one and then I move the orders around um, like this, and then I move, um, let's say this equation and cut and paste uh, like this, right? So now the, numbers seem to screw up. It's one, three, two, one, three, two, like this. But as long as I update all of my field codes, um, you'll see these will automatically update, right? Okay, and I actually include a chapter number as well um, uh, for it. Okay, so how do we set this up? Uh, so let's uh, start. So first of all, you need to actually embrace uh, styles. Uh, so you'll need to use uh, all the styles and how, how to uh, set um, set up your document first. So you may have a title, right? Your your title, and then let's say you have chapter one, uh, chapter two, chapter three. So you definitely need the to put them in the correct styles. So the title will be in the title style. The chapter one, uh, put it in as heading one, um, heading one, and heading one. So these are this will allow you to refer to the chapter title when you define your equations, okay? And then now um, you can, uh, uh, well, we'll have to write the equation and then you'll have to uh, set, uh, set up the, the template of this first. So I have separate videos on that. Um, you can check out the playlist and the link in the descriptions, um, but I'll just use my shortcut to create an equation environment. Uh, let's say I want to, uh, write the Fourier transform equation like this. And I have uh, all the tips on how to type these equation um, uh, oops, uh, infinity uh, uh, efficiently as well, um, how to use all these shortcuts to um, uh, yeah, type these. For example, if I want a Fourier transform, I want, let's say, f hat uh, is uh, a function of k. And uh, this is going to take x uh, and e to the ikx um, or minus ikx, I think, um, and uh, dx, let's say, like that. Okay. Um, and I want to put a brackets and I'll use, let's say, the hashtag method um, over here. And if I hit enter, um, I get this set up. Okay. So these are discussed in previous uh, videos. You can check them out. Um, but I want to focus on how do we get the equation numbering here. So we talked about equation numbers themselves already, is to use field codes. Again, check out the um, playlist on field codes. I'll just use the shortcut introduced in that video. Um, uh, I should say the video on field codes. <laughs> uh, so uh, I'll use the shortcut of uh, command F9. Um, that will give me this. So I'll define a new sequence. Uh, let's call it equation uh, like that. Okay, um, right. So now I can do F9 and that will give me the number um, of this sort of carried on from here. Um, so that's why it says four, um, but uh, I'll show you how to restart the numbering at the moment. So this is actually not just, right, the, this is not just four, this is actually a uh, a field code. So let's say I, I copy and paste them, right? I can actually do F, highlight all of them, hit F9, and you see they, um, they actually would, uh, would, would automatically update. Um, and I can actually move these uh, around, move these numbers around like this, right? As soon as I highlight all of them and update, right? So if as, uh, these numbers are gonna go in here later on to label the equations, if I move my equations around or add an equation in between, um, as long as I do uh, F9 like this, actually let me pull out the keyboard if it's possible. Um, Yep, there you go. So just to be cl clear, so if I do F9 like this, all of these would up, uh, automatically update. I can also do Shift F9. Uh, so you see these are actually field codes, right? Um, and uh, if I do Shift F9, it, it just shows what the field codes is. If I just do F9 like this, it just compiles them together. Okay, um, if I want to restart a sequence because every after each chapter, 
we want to restart them. If I don't restart the number, it just goes on one, two, three, four, five, six, like that. Um, usually in mathematics or physics or uh, STEM subjects, we in the chapter, we want to, if, if you do decide to include the chapter number, uh, we want to restart the equations every time. Um, all you have to do is uh, let's highlight the field code, go shift F9 again, expand that inside the field code, type uh, slash R, that will restart it. Okay, so if I compile it again, F9, um, it will restart it. Uh, but the problem is it restarts at zero. Let's check this out, right? So if I uh, uh, update them, uh, you see it restarts, but the problem is it restarts at zero. That's not so good. Uh, if I want to specify, I want to restart from one or whatever like number you like, um, then uh, you just need to do slash R1, then everything else, if I refresh, then that's uh, that's fine. Okay, so um, uh, we can have this uh, field code in here. Okay, so that would, uh, let me just copy this, or let me just, um, uh, yeah, I'll copy this and paste it in here. I have included the, I have included too much. Okay, there we go. Okay, so that that's where the field code sits. Um, uh, let me just put this over here temporarily. Okay, so that's where the field code sits. Now, how do I reference the chapter number as well? Well, we can use the cross-reference feature. Um, so uh, you can go to insert cross-reference over here, or I can just use my shortcut of, uh, uh, this is a shortcut I just defined um, separately. Oops. Um, if it actually works. There we go. Okay. Um, I have a lot of headings. Um, let me delete everything uh, before this first. Okay, so I'll have a clean start. Okay, there we go. Um, all right, so if I do insert uh, cross-reference again or use your shortcut, bring this up. Um, now go down to headings in the reference type and you'll see all your chapters over here. So now you can reference the chapter text. Notice if I put my cursor, let's see what, what this does first. If I put my cursor over here, right, and if I select uh, heading text and I hit insert whatever the chapter text is uh, heading text is it will uh, put this up notice this I also insert this as a link so if I click this uh, my cursor will jump back to the heading 